Hey, Jose, how you doing? Hello, Dina. Hello, Jose. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hmm. Did everybody have a good weekend? Oh, I'm sorry, teacher. I can hear you. Uh, I said, did you have a nice weekend? Oh, yeah. What Very did you nice. do? Mm-hmm. Um, I was I visited my my parents and take out to to lunch. And where do your parents live? Good evening, teacher. They, they live in Santa Ana. Okay. So, do you live in Santa Ana, or did you have to go to Santa Ana? Um, I went. Uh, I went to Santa Ana. Um. Because I, I live in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. uh, and do you go every week? Yeah, I, I, I try to go um, a week. Yes, a week. No. Okay. All right. So in English, it's every. Every, every week other, every other week uh, every every other week yeah mm -hmm. okay thank you you're welcome okay so that's the first thing we're, we're going to start off with is we're going to start off with talking to our partners about the weekend remember what was our topic last week last week the first thing or the last grammar that we saw was referring to the past so referring to times in the past was the last topic that we discussed, okay? So today we're gonna start off exactly that, okay? We're gonna start off talking about our weekend. What happened? What did we do last weekend, last Saturday, last Sunday, last Friday? What were the things that we did on those days, okay? Just like with Jose, the idea is not only the conversation, but ask more questions, investigate, find out, uh, practice making not only for your partner but for you to practice your skills in asking questions any words or anything that you don't know how to say in English no we're okay then let's try it
Hi, good evening. Hey, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm fine. I'm glad that you connected. Let me go ahead and put you guys into the groups. The groups are already starting to talk, so they will help you out. Hometowns. In 1975, Madonna had. Okay, good. We had an opportunity to discuss our weekend. We started to use the past tense. We started to use time words. Great. So first, tell me one thing that your partner did over the weekend. What did he or she do? Uh huh. Only one thing is not not in conversation. Only one thing. Tell me one thing that your partner did. Uh, uh, okay, well, teacher. Um, for example, uh, my partner Eric, I went. Uh, Eric, I went to the church. Um, no. Then no I, then no Eric I. There no. He, he went. He went. 
he went also, he went to the church uh -huh. i didn't go to the to the church <laughs> I don't know. Eddie, I went to the <laughs> university. Um, yeah. I'm part of joint venture. Yeah, the other partner. Joint uh, venture. Uh, you need to tell, tell him the truth. Cesar, sorry, excuse me. Cesar, <laughs> I went to the church. Ah, and every, you, you he went, perdón, perdón, perdón. Uh -huh. He went to the church. And Eric, he went to the university. Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, Marvin, when did Eric go to the university? When did he go? In, yes, when? And Saturday. On, okay. No, Saturday. <laughs> no, on Friday. Eric? On Friday. <laughs> mm, this Marvin? Yeah. Mm, not good listener, no good partner. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> tell me something about your partners. Well, I'm from, I don't know, what is the name of the other partner? Cesar, or no? Yeah, Cesar, he went to the church, and uh, Marvin, he went to to the beach. When? When did he go to the beach? On Saturday, maybe. And what beach did he go to? Sunday. Yeah. Mm. He didn't tell us. And and you didn't ask. No. <laughs> ah. ah. Basically with the family. Ah. Uh, with his family. With, with his family. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. This is the idea. We need to practice asking the questions because if not, when you have to ask questions, it's difficult for you. The important is to ask questions, ask information. Ah, uh, where, when, what, how, how many, what time? Try to practice. Today, we're going to be looking at the past tense as we discussed last class. Here in referring to times in the past, we are in 5.3. We're going to watch a little video to help us remember the words that we use in the past tense. Okay. Hi, we want to go back in time. We will explain how we can refer to it. Don't go and stay for the explanation. Get ready. Referring to time in the past. A point of time in the past. When did World War II take place? During the 1940s. In the 1940s. Over 60 years ago. A period of time in the past. How long were the Beatles together? From 1960 to 1970. For 10 years. A period of time that continues into the present. How long has the United Nations been in existence? Since 1945. Since World War II ended. For about the last 60 years. When we want to talk about a point of time in the past, we may use the words in, ago, during. Okay. It's okay, the difference. Do you remember in, ago, and during? Yes, no, so yes. so. Yes? Yes, it's sure. Okay. Let's watch, let's listen to some examples to make sure that everybody remembers. Let's take a look at some examples. I will give you some examples using a timeline. Rock and roll became popular about 50 years ago. Disco became a craze in 1975. Madonna was on the music scene during the 1990s. A period of time that continues into the present using since and for. The United Nations has existed since 1945. The United Nations has existed for over 60 years. Remember, we use since plus a point of time. Example, since last year, since Tuesday. And we use for plus a length of time. For example, for two weeks, for three hours. A period of time in the past using from 
2, and 4. World War I lasted from 1914 to 1918. World War II lasted for four years. Okay. After the explanation, we want you to type examples using ago, since, and for. All right. It's okay, those vocabulary words? Ago, since, for, during. How do you feel? Do you feel that it's clear or not clear? Uh, yes, teacher. Um, I guess to we need to practice uh, the moment when we have to use every everyone this word. Yes. And we are going to practice in this moment. But the first, before we practice, is okay the the academic, the idea of the difference for from, to, mm. since, for, it's clear the idea? Anybody is confused between the difference between during and in or ago and since? All right, great. So what are we going to do? Well, we are not going to do the knowledge check yet. Not this. We are going to do a different activity. So in this moment, I'm going to give you two links. And the links are to help us very easy with the three basic words that we use in time. What are the three basic words that we use in time? In, on, and at. These are the most common words that you use in English when referring to time, okay? So as an example, I go to class, okay? It, what do we use? In, on, or at Monday. What do we say? I go to class in Monday, on Monday, or at Monday? Monday, teacher. Which one? No. In Monday. In Monday. Okay. Do we agree? Disagree? Don't know. I see. I see. Elvis. Dele. Okay. The others? De acuerdo? Yes. Yes. Anybody know? Raquel? I agree. I agree. Okay, Raquel? On yeah. Monday. On Monday, teacher. Okay. So no agree. No agree with no and no agree with Elvis and Jose. I am disagree. Okay. You disagree too, teacher. Okay. All right. Very good. The correct answer is on. For days of the week is on. On Monday, on Tuesday, on. But is correct in the morning, in the afternoon, or at night. Okay. So with our partner, we have the two links. Did you open the two links? The idea is to help us practice and review the basic time uh, words in, on, and at. Everybody has the two links? Which are the first link or second links? Both, both links. Oh, okay. You Thank need you. both links. Sir, I have problem with the first link because I don't, uh, I can't enter. The, the link. Yes, in the first link. Okay. Is, are you on the cell phone or the computer? Cell phone. Maybe the problem is for the cell phone that you are on. But let me check. Anyone have problems? Anybody else besides mm -hmm. Anita have problems with link number one? Mm. I'm trying into the link, but I have I'm having problem too. For in number one or number two? 
Only the number one is the problem. Only the number one. In the chat, in the WhatsApp chat, I send a picture. This is the problem in my case is. Uh, Let me take a look. Um, the number hmm. the number two is very good. Uh -huh, but it says number one page not found. Hmm. Let me check. It's the same link that I click. Let me check one more time. Okay. Anybody else have problems with number one? No, teacher. No, you can enter. Yes, you can enter or no, you can't enter, guys. Yes, I'm entering. No. Yes, I can enter. Yes. Okay, so maybe it's for the cell phone then, Aneda. Uh -huh. Because if the okay. others can enter, uh -huh. but we can try. We can try with our partners. So in this moment with our partner, we have five minutes. Complete the two links. Complete the two links, five minutes with your partners. You ready? Jose?
Okay, how do you feel? It's a little bit better. We have a, the better idea for in, on, and at. The idea is clear, teacher. Uh, how more time for finish? <laughs> excellent, excellent. That's why we have the links, right? The links okay. is for when you finish the class, you can practice more or tomorrow for the other link. Of course. Thank in, you, this, in this moment with our partners, we are going to complete the exercise in the platform. So with okay. our partner, right now, we're going to practice not only in, on, we're going to practice in, during, ago, since, for, from, and to, and complete all of it. Here we have two paragraphs. With our partners, in paragraph one, we have to look and we have seven spaces. In paragraph two, we have four spaces. So you read here and you put in the correct space, the correct word for each space. Which is the correct word? You and your partner make the decision. Yes, you can repeat words, okay? Not only is one time. For example, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words. But in total, we have 11 spaces. So it's okay to repeat. It's not only one time. But you and your partner have to make the decision which is the best word for each sentence. It's okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. 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 Let's take a look. And we have just a few minutes. Okay. Hey, Jose, you returned. Jose, can you hear me?
Okay. So how do we feel? We got it more or less ready to check. So, so. Okay, let's try, even if you didn't finish with your partner, let's try together. What was number one? What do you think was number one? The Beatles were well-known English band? In. 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 Okay, in. Good. They performed together? Four. Mm. Okay, four. Ten years. During. The second is during. The during. Oh, sorry. During. During. Number two or number three? Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Okay. So no number four. Number two is during. Okay. They were the English best known band during the 1960s. Okay. Let me change. Number three is four. 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 Okay. Number three is four. Mm -hmm. What a four mm -hmm. is from? From? Number five? Yes. Two. Okay. From the 19th. Okay. Two. And number six? In. In. Good. And the last one in the paragraph? A go. A go. Interesting. All right. What about paragraph number two? Here was 2003. What would be the first word? In. In 2003. Okay. And then what happened? Score. Four. Four. Okay, all right. Number three. Four. Four. Four again. Number four. Since. 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 Okay. Let's double check in case someone had a mistake. They can correct. Look. Since four and four. In. Then we have a go in two. Very nice. From, for, during, and in. Much better. It's okay, all of the time expressions? Okay. All right, I hope so. Great. Now we're going to be looking at some vocabulary. This vocabulary is a little bit more difficult because it's a little bit different. Now, why is it different? Because here they give you the sentence. They give you an example. And you need to identify with it's your partner there. what is the correct word that they are describing. Which one? Disaster. First one is disaster. First one is disaster. Very nice. Let's take a look at number two. What could be number two? Invention. 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 Very nice. Good. What about number four? The three. Osama bin Laden. Terrorist <laughs> act. Terrorist act. Okay. <laughs> Good. Osama bin Laden. Saddam Hussein. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Number four, discovery. discovery. Okay, yep. good. Number five is epidemic. 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 <laughs> epidemic. Mm -hmm. Great. Number six, assassination. Okay, assassination. And the last one, achievement. Hmm. Equipment. Achievement. Achievement. Oh, very good hey look at that the pronunciation is difficult no problem here we have in this moment disaster disaster invention invention 
terrorist act. Terrorist act. Discovery. Discovery. Epidemic. Epidemic. Assassination. Assassination. Achievement. Achievement. It's okay, the pronunciation? Yes, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So now we're going to take a look at using the future with will and future continuous and future perfect. Here, we're going to need a little bit of grammar. If you remember, will is spontaneous or not planned. Future continuous is action not finished. And future perfect is action completed before a time. So this one is completed, this one not completed, and this is only the plan. Let's look at and see what they can give us, what information. Ready to predict the future with me? We will do so by using will, won't, future continuous, and future perfect. Don't forget to study and practice with a friend. Predicting the future with will. Use will to predict future events or situations. Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard. Use future continuous to predict ongoing actions. People will be living in cities under the ocean. Use future perfect to predict actions that will be completed by a certain time. Within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for baldness. By 2050, we will have set up human communities on Mars. There are many ways to describe the future in English. This time, we will go over three future tenses. Number one, will, won't, plus base verb. Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard. Number two. Future continuous, will be plus present participle. People will be living in cities under the ocean. Robots will be performing most factory jobs. Number three, future perfect, will have plus past participle. Within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure of baldness. By the 2050, we will have set up human communities on Mars. Okay. Before we continue, let's look at the three. We have future simple, future continuous, and future perfect. Look at the examples. Are the examples clear for you? Do you understand the difference between them? It's not clear. Which one? Um, the future perfect versus future simple. Okay, good. So, the future perfect is going to be something that you're going to plan to do before that time. As an example, this year is 2023. And before December, what are you going to do? Ah, this is the future perfect. I will have finished my English class before December. This is the idea for future perfect. You complete the action before the time. Now, future, simple, is I will. I will work. I will study, but I don't know when. I only think for the future, but I don't have that it's going to happen before a specific time. The future, perfect, uh, have a time specific. Yes. Future perfect. If it's simple, it's simple will. Only the will, exactly. It can be any time, but not finished before that time. Okay. Okay. So as an example, I will go to China. I will go to China next year. Okay. So this is for from now to the future. From now to the future, I go to China. The future perfect. I will have gone to China before next year. Is I complete the action before the year. 
and I will go to China in one year is in one year and after I go to China. Yes? Right now, it's clear. Okay. Now, excellent question, Elvis. For this, I'm going to give you something for everyone to help you. Like Elvis, sometimes we get a little confusion. In the chat, you can see all of the future exercises. What can you see in the chat? In the chat, you can see the link to practice going to, will, going to and will, future continuous, future perfect, and future perfect continuous. You can practice all of the different forms for the future. So if you have a little difficulty or a little confusion, no problem. The link in the chat is going to give you extra practice to make sure that it's clear for you. Is that okay? All right, let's continue then with the video. It is important for you to know the future continuous describes an ongoing action and future perfect describes something that will be completed by a specific time. Note, future perfect needs a date or time of completion. For example, within 20 years, by 2025. Let's discuss this question. Which three jobs will people not be doing in 50 years? Why? Don't forget to share your answers on our discussion box. Okay. It's okay? Yes, teacher. Great. So, what are we going to do? Well, we are going to practice. First, we're going to have before we do the knowledge check, we're going to practice the link. That is the function of the link to help us to be clear with the future perfect, to understand the future perfect. Or if for you is a little confusing, confusing the future continuous, practice the future continuous. If for you it's a little confusion, the will, practice will. When you feel comfortable, when you say, no, I understand. Ya me quedo claro. Ah, in that moment, you and your partner are going to complete 5.8, the knowledge check. Okay? So first, practice the links for the exercises that you need. And then with your partner, you're going to use the correct form. You may use will or won't, future simple, future continuous, or future perfect. So you're going to use these verbs and you're going to have to decide one of the three, which is correct, perfect, continuous, or simple. Remember to practice the link if it's not clear for you first. Then we do 5.8. Yes? Yes, teacher. All right, excellent. Let's try it with our partners then.
Okay. I hope that the link helped you so that you could practice a little bit with your partners and also that it's clear on how we use it. Here, let's take a look at which is the best way. What do you think for number one? We'll take teacher. We'll take. Okay. We'll take. Good. What about number two? We'll sell. We'll sell. Okay. Number three. We'll have discovered. Oh, okay. We'll have discovered. Good. Number four. We'll invent. 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 Okay. Number five. We'll live. Hmm. And number six. We have melted. We have not. No, no, we'll have, or yes. 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 We'll, uh, we'll have melt. Melt, okay. All right. There. Let melt me show you. We have yeah, some of the ideas. We'll have is, uh, melted. Always when you use have or has, always is going to be the past participle. Here we can have two people within 50 years, people will be living or will live. The two have the same idea. The same here, will invent or will be inventing. Not so normal, but will have invented sometime in the future. But the best is will invent. Here, if you look, the verb in the past participle, because we use have. Okay. Soon we can use two forms, will sell or will be, will be selling. And the last one is number one, will take. So as you can see, always is not only one answer, but sometimes there can be two answers. But always when you use have or has, always the word is going to be with the past participle. Is that okay? Yes, okay. excellent. Okay, so I hope the link helps you because tomorrow we're going to practice a little bit of reading, discussion, and then we're going to try to get everything ready so that on Wednesday we can be ready for our final exam. Okay? Okay, teacher. All right. Thank you, okay. Thank you teacher. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Have a wonderful night. You too. Thank you.